Ghost Town. Established in 1931. That's kind of making a shadow landmark, wouldn't you say? Please and Diet Coke. Go blood cheese. Diet Coke. Yes, sir. <laughs> Double cheese. Yes. I'm a dishwasher. Yes. I'm a dishwasher. Cheese burger. Cheese burger. Cheese burger. Go Pepsi Coke. Double cheese. Scientist died in 1970 at age 76, but not before he had established his tavern as a Chicago landmark. With his silver goatee and budding manner, he often surprised people by appearing at public events with his goat, thus granting him the nickname Billy Goat. Billy Goat originally opened his tavern at 1855 West Madison across from Chicago Stadium from 1934 to 1963. Hockey fans would frequent the tavern after Blackhawks games. Then, in 1963, he moved the tavern to its present-day location on Lower Michigan Avenue at Hubbard Street. Because of its location on Lower Michigan instead of Upper Michigan, it's still the kind of place where a quarter's worth of beer costs a quarter. Hi, how's it going? Fine, how are you today? I'm good, and your name is? Derek. Derek? Okay, Derek, how long have you been working here at the Billy Goat Tavern? Okay, on and off for about nine so, years. Nine years? Mm -hmm. And how did you acquire your job at the Billy Goat? Oh, one day he was just looking for a guy, you know, he fired one guy, so that yeah. brought me in. That's how I got started here. And you've been here ever since? Yes, I have. And do you have any other employment besides working at Billy Goat? Oh, yes, I work for the Life of Billy Goat Blue Cross and Blue Shield, which is called Fort Dearborn Life Insurance. Okay. And what about interests, like, besides? Your obvious career. Um, what, what would your interest be? Well, well, my hobby is, you know, what I like to do now is I like to participate in some kind of acting, you know, commercials or something like that. But it's uh, it's coming along pretty well now. Well, have you been in any plays? Uh, one last year. Yeah, one's called Paris 9000. Paris 9000. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'd like to ask you about this place. Um, what kind of people tend to come into Billy Goat Town? Oh, we have. People come here, newspaper people, uh, your, yeah, just natural people come in. Some celebrities come in. We have quite a few celebrities that can drop in from time to time. So, any in particular? Sure. Mike Reichel stops in from time to time. Charlie Finney, who used to own the Open A, stops in from time to time. Uh, and there are a few others that come in. And do you find working here um, can be exciting at times? Sure. It's always exciting to work here at Billy Goats. Oh, yeah? Well, um, what, what is it like here in the Billy Goat on a Monday night when there's a Bears game on? Do people really get into it? I mean, sure they do. You know how Chicago fans are about the Chicago Bears, you know, they love the Bears. And on a Monday night if they're having a game here in Chicago, it's going to be packed. And they're going to enjoy it. And just like the Bear, uh, the fans out there at Soldier Field, they're going to scream and holler here too. So the Billy Goat really jumps the Oh, like sure, that. sure. No question about it. What about, so people come in here, they eat the cheeseburgers, drink at the bar, and just watch the game. It's just... Oh, you, you'll be surprised how much fun the customers have here. You know, you stop in one Monday night at the Bears and run you and see for yourself. Okay. They're, they're, uh, they're having a grand old time. All right, well, Dick, I'd like to thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Oh, anytime. Stop again. I will. Okay. Billy Goat gained much notoriety when, in 1945, Billy Cyanus and his goat were expelled from their box seats at Wrigley Field for the World Series. Angered by this, 
Billy vowed in front of a crowd at his tavern that the Cubs would never win another pennant as long as he was alive. Billy's dead now, but the Cubs still haven't won a pennant. The Billy Goat gained even much more notoriety when the John Belushi used his, the tavern as a premise for a Saturday Night Live skit. The famous quotes of cheeseburger, 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 and no fries, pep, chips, were instant hits as Belushi borrowed these quotes from the cooks at the Goat. The Billy Goat is a thriving tavern with many of its patrons being reporters. Mike Royko, famed Chicago Tribune reporter, frequents the Goat. It also is a popular tourist attraction, but most of all, the Billy Goat Tavern is a place where everyone fits in and everyone can have a good time. Hi, how's it going? All right, what are you doing? Pretty good. And your name is? Sam Sianis. Sam Sianis. And uh, are you the owner here of the Billy Goat? Yeah, I'm the owner. And what was your relation to the former owner? My uncle. Who's your uncle? Father's brother. Father's brother. Well, do you still have a goat? Or is I do. You still have a goat? I just had him over here uh, last week. Last week. You still bring him to the bar sometimes? Oh, yeah. And what is, what's the goat's name? Billy. His name is still, it's, it's not the same goat, though. Not the same goat, but any uh, time you get a new goat, the name is the same name. So, how many goats have there been? Well, this is the last goat I had here was the goat 21. Goat 21? Um, well, Mr. Sanders, could you tell us, um, what kind of people do you meet here at your bar? You name it, we meet them. Uh, politics, uh, movie stars, Executives, lawyers, judges, uh, uh, reporters, uh, TV people, radio people, uh, all kinds of people. Well, tell me, what happened when um, John Belushi used your tavern here on Saturday Night Live? Did he come in and talk to you about it first? Or did you were just watching TV once one night and, and saw... No, you never talked to us. You never talked to you? No. He just, uh, they just did a sketch. And after they did the sketch, for six months later, then uh, uh, I, I talked to John, Don Ecker, Bill Murs, Danavan, all yeah. these people. They knew and did, were you at all angered that they used it before talking to you? Or? No, 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 no. It was just, I mean, uh, left. They, uh, they, uh, they, uh, my customers, they know more than I am. I mean, they know first, they know, they know uh, first than I do. Because I've walked down Michigan Avenue or other places, they, 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 uh, no Pepsi Coke, you know. So is no that, chips, it really is like that? Uh, yes. in here? That's what cooks, that's how everything really is? And that's where, yeah, yeah, people ask, they use uh, Pepsi as, uh, yeah, uh, no Pepsi Coke, uh, fries, no fries, chips, cheeseburger. Yeah. Well, do you remember um, when you were younger, um, before you were the owner of the bar, did you work at the bar with your uncle? Yes. Yeah. I worked in the old bar too on Madison Street from 1960. 1964, that's where we moved here. Uh, today, what's the fourth bit? Yeah. 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 Okay. Fifth. Day is the 25th anniversary. Today, this is the 25th anniversary of the Goat? Yeah, because we do, we're doing on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, the Ghost is follow on Sunday. Today is the 25th anniversary. Wow, so you, you, would you say that your tavern has been a success? Yes. Or would you consider it, um, in, I know it's been here 25 years, but it's been, it was established in 34. It was established in 1934, yeah, from uh, Madison. So would you consider it a Chicago landmark? Yeah. Not only Chicago, yeah. Chicago, yeah. yeah. But the time we have people coming in from uh, not only the United States, from all the world. So it's really a world renowned place. Well, yeah. They have a picture in France, they have a picture in Japan, they have a picture in uh, Italy, uh, uh, England. People see it when they come across. Well, Mr. Sanders. Newspapers from all the world. I'd like to thank you for the interview. Thank you. Um, and I really appreciate all your information. It's been real helpful for us. And we hope, we hope to come to your tavern often and enjoy the food here. Having a time there, Travis? Papa Theodore, Roll, Metro Code, Dim Roll. Pomoro, Doro, Gio, Cacopolis. Okay, say it. Okay. Bill, Papa, Theo, Doro, uh, I can't do it.
Papa Theodoro, Demetoro, Gomoto, Tigoro, Gaga, Papa, Palawas. Papa Theo, Dimitro, Gomoto, Jokakaka, Copulos. See you later, Derek. Bye. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Dennis. Bye-bye. Take it easy. Hey, Sam. Take it easy. See you guys. Bye-bye.